intertextuality. Intertextuality. Uh, every word we use, unless we designed it ourselves and no one else understands it, that every word that we use, which is understood by others, has been used before. Now, that means concretely that whenever we want to be understood by other people, we need to use the words of others. And so whenever we speak, right, whenever we communicate, our mouths are filled with the words of others. Now these words of others are not neutral, of course. Right? These words, because they've been used before, have histories of use and abuse, right? of meanings that maybe at some point had a very positive meaning, other points had a very negative one, changed due to certain circumstances, and so on and so on. They're never neutral. They're never neutral. All right? And in that sense, for instance, when we use words like bitch, all right, or, or uh, um, um, uh, idiot, uh, or genius, or um, 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 hero, all right, those are not neutral words. Right? Now, the non-neutrality, the value that we attribute to these words, is in the textual. We ourselves borrow that value from the history of use of these words. Now, it, it's good to keep in mind that everything we produce when we produce meaning through discourse right, is, in the text, is intertextual. Everything. Right? Now, very often you can only explain the meaning effects of what it is that you produce by looking back into the history of the actual stuff you used when you expressed yourself. Keep that in mind, it's an important notion.